Bonjour. And welcome to a French edition of Talking Tackle. So this is going to be a special edition. Um, maybe we're going to have to probably film this over a few parts. Because I don't think you guys will want to watch a two hour, three hour episode. So we'll see how we get on. But we're in France. We're uh, fishing Maya Lake, which is located in Soissons. Um, so I had about two, two and a half hours from uh, Calais. Um, it's an exclusive lake, so we've got the whole lake to ourselves. Um, costs around about 800, 900 pound um, for the exclusive um, lake itself. We've paid 1,200 pound um, and we have actually got the facilities, which are here, the staff which is all there um, we'll go through that later on but um lake itself um probably two three acres you know nice tree lines um a lot of little nooks and crannies that look quite inviting um fish wise not the biggest but bigger than uh what we've caught before so um record here i think is around about 46 pound um so there's a good very good head of carp here probably um 20s and 30s it says on the site that there's none stocked below 20 pound so if that's true that's good so um yeah it should be a really good session you've got an aerator in the middle um which is good because do need to get the water moving because as you can see it is very very still so yeah i'm really looking forward to it um we'll get back to you with uh some more videos in action we're just gonna basically uh start unpacking and getting our bits and bobs out we've got our bivvies and rods out already but all right so i will be back right so gonna try again tried doing the amenities video and had a run which was a nice 29 pound mirror as you can see Nigel's out there at the moment in the boat so we'll start off by obviously saying there is a boat here so you can row out and drop your rigs out and your bait out wherever you want um, so yeah this is a lake it's nicely fenced all the way around um, really good and there's a really big metal gate at the bottom there so nice and secure which is what you want so i'm going to do this quite quickly so you've got a barbecue which you can use now well let's do that step right so we have toilet everything's nice and clean here which is lovely um guy nick who owns it actually doesn't come here um a lot i don't think daniel who's his partner um not sexual partner uh business partner um looks after it and he does a very good job so there's a shower now i read quite a few reports actually moaning about the water here from what we've seen when we've had a shower and experience the water is absolutely fine now here is the kitchen and it comes fully equipped with a chef monsieur comment ça va oh, bonjour <laughs> all right so yeah he is preparing our dinner have you got the oven working yeah all right well i'm just going to carry on doing this quickly so I'll leave that punk to uh, prepare my food. The blue room. So this is one of the double bedrooms here. So nice and clean, light and sockets and everything. Now you get the water there. Daniel brings a lot of water down, so that's good. Washing line. Now got a patio area. With table and chairs and it's got some sheet in there so you can enclose it got a nice 
gas barbecue stove type thing. We have a lounge with a telly, DVD player, sofas, another little table. That's where we charge our phones and that mostly in there. Chill in there as well when it gets hot because it does get hot here. Fridges and freezers, which is good. Oh god, no. Every time I do a video, my, my rod goes. What one was that? My right rod. Right. The red room. This is another bedroom. This is what Stav's actually sleeping in, rather than the bivy. And Nigel's been sleeping in there as well. A bit suspect. Been hearing weird voices and noises. There's Badge enjoying a cup of tea, no doubt. Yeah, so there's a the gate, nice driveway, and that's so yeah, you could drive literally all the way to your swim. So, um, yeah, I'm very impressed um, with the facilities here, I'm very impressed with the lake. Um, yeah, very impressed. Right, so, um, just gonna do a very, very, very quick um video on the bait i'm using so right baits i've got i basically tiger nuts soaking in the uh in the juices cooked them in i've got particles and i've got basically all my dips uh pop-ups and then I've got some boilies. Now, I've just gone for three different types of boilies. I've got king prawn, um, black cherry, and um, some peanut pro. So I've got a fruity, fishy, and a nutty boilie. So um, I didn't hardly do anything yesterday apart from just cast my rods out with one hook link on there, Stav. Baiting up his area with his concoctions how much he's chucking out and he said to us that we're gonna pollute the lake with our stuff oh my god so yeah so the areas that I'm gonna fish today um, we've noticed that the fish have been coming out of the marginal areas so I'm gonna stick one in that little cove to the right of where he is I'm gonna put one in the corner and I'm just gonna put one there so I'm just going to do my right rod first, I'm going to check some particles out there, so tiger nuts on top and then, yeah, I think what I'm going to do today, because um, I've been noticing a lot of the tench and the bream are going after boilies, I mean, I had two bream, two side, two tench, on um, 20 mil boilies with a size 6 hook, you know, to be honest, that's that's what scared me that has so i'm going to change to some nuts see what happens um i had three out at night in the middle with boilies on and brought them all in and they'd all all gone so um something i, I don't know I don't know if nuisance fish are out there nibbling at them or or what so i'm gonna see how i get on for the day now didn't do anything yesterday so I'm going to put the effort in today to bait up well what I go for, for the week now so yeah that's what I'm doing I'll show you the rest of them what they're doing later on in the day when I'm done so big ads out so here with Mr Payne so Stav what, uh, what baits have you been using so far? got three rods out for the carp. I did have one with paste, two with boilies, one a snowman rig, which is semi buoyant. I use one floating and one standard. And the other's just a, a straightforward boilie. I've had a, one bream that's so big, maybe five, five odd pound, five, six pound. No carp as of yet. I've just set this little waggler rod up just to play around while I'm waiting for the carp to come in. I've had numerous fish on this. Tench, quite a few tench. Roach and rud. 
It's just a little play around one, really. That's what it's for. I just got a knock on mine in the marginal area. Nothing's happened yet. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got three three rods out, all with boilies on. The the one with paste I've brought in, changed it over because there's a lot of small fish in here which we didn't realise. Uh, and they're just pecking away at the, at the paste and it's just reeling with nothing on it. So I've, I've changed that and put a boilie on that one as well, a cell boilie. Uh, I've bought my, my rigs off of an eBay guy. You can make it yourselves, there's no, there's no problem with that. But I bought a couple from this guy. What was his name? Figure of 80, was it? That's it. Rank. And uh, just to try them really. And I was that impressed by them that I bought quite a few more. So he's off, off eBay. Figure of 80 is his uh, username. Um, I'll definitely check him out because you can get some really good rigs and cheap rigs as well and they are made really well and uh, my other ba my, my particle baits I'm using get some so get some of these most angle anglers uh, shops sell them fishing shops sell them but I got these from a place called GM growers near Biggles Wade and the reason why I say that is I don't know anywhere that sells this stuff as cheap as what they do mm. I think it's about seven seven pounds <coughs> ten a box and i don't know anywhere else that can sell this stuff for as cheap as that so definitely check them out if you want to get some good particles because i bought a few of them from them i'll oh, big i'll big them up as well because yeah you got a guy who works there called leon who's uh works for um i think he's uh sponsored by crafty catcher so um their boilies are cheap there as well. Yeah. yeah, they do a lot of stuff there. I get a lot of my stuff there. And he, uh, he sold me a lot of the particle mix me, Badger and Nigel use. So, big up, Leon. Yeah, they do the Crafty Carper range. So, it's not it's not mainline or anything like that. But it's, but it's still good stuff. And it's a really good price as well. Yeah. So, coupled with, with the particles and, and other baits that you can buy from them. I, I really do not know anywhere else you can buy it cheaper than, than you can at G&M Growers. So, uh Definitely pay them a visit if, you, if you're in the Bigglesweight area. So, yeah. All right. It's a waiting game now to see what's going on. That's it, dude. So, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. So, lake's nice and calm today. It's quite nice, actually, because there's quite a bit of uh, cloud cover today. So, but yeah. Um, Badger's just had one. Just had a 16-pound grass carp. Nigel's had a 26 pound mirror, mirror so yeah. me and Stav haven't had much luck yet just I've had two tents she's had a bream and a lot, a lot, lot of, of small fish on his little waggler rod so mm. right hopefully we'll be back with uh, me and Stav catching some fish at this end of the lake yep. every time I want to talk to this punk he always seems to be spotting. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes spotting more than girls and fishing itself. <laughs> Carter, why are you doing this badge? What what we using? Obviously. Oh, just some the same. some particles that someone prepared. Yeah, mate. Uh, must, yeah, I think it was you. Yeah. What do you think to the particles I uh, prepared anyway, Nige? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, cheers, mate. Right, yeah, I'm using the particles <laughs> that uh, yeah you prepared. <laughs> wink, um, wink, wink. <laughs> and uh, some mainline hybrid boilers. Yeah. What kind of rigs are you using, Badge? Uh, I've just put two Withy Pool rigs out with um, pop ups. Have you? Yeah. I was thinking about trying something like that. Well, I've been using, um, since yesterday, I've been using wafters. Um, not saying it's. Uh, there's a problem with using the wafters but I just think it's quite a bit of silt out there and <clears throat> on the drop they could get covered by a few leaves and not see yeah, yeah the carp will find them eventually but we want quick bites yeah Nige what did you catch that big boy on Flawless wafter. you used the wafter as well what Flawless what about that grassy was that a wafter that was a wafter actually yeah that was a that was an 18 mil hybrid wafter with just a tiny little pink piece of um, pop-up corn on it, plastic corn. Okay, I shall tell Stav. <laughs> Let's have a look in there. What's he, what's he got? He's got Atlantic heat. He was bumming that stuff up when he come round mine. All the pros use it. <laughs> Daddy Fairbrass. 
Ali, Adam Underwood. <laughs> His little uh, bag, box of goodies. His weights. All right, so. Yeah. You confident? Like, well, yeah, we're here for a week, so it's going to take a couple of days chopping and changing to see if we can get it right. But get I'm out sure of the way, I want to get Nigel in as well. I'm sure we'll get it right eventually. Started, this end has produced a couple of carp at the minute, but I know from the forums all the big, big boys are over that side. Not what but, I heard. but they, they're over that side because of how snaggy it is. That's what, that's what I was, that's what I've read on there. Everyone goes for the right hand side. It's full I, of snags. I would have liked to. The biggest swapped, fish come out of there. But someone wanted his creature comforts. <laughs> the punk. <laughs> but I don't blame him. I wouldn't sleep in that bivy he's got. <laughs> but it's all right. It's Confident, it happy. Anyway, how was your bed, Nigel? Yeah, that's right. I'll put a bucket you, you sleeping on that tonight or? No, it depends how rough it gets on the hook. Uh, I think, ah, you, I think you can, because I think I may eye up that bed tonight. <laughs> you can never one, man. Right, I'm going to go try and find a plank. And I don't mean up, a person. There's one there. Yeah, I want to try and find a plank for that boat. But yeah, I'll leave. You'll be better with a plank. Yeah, right, well, uh, after this video. So, we're all out. I've got some optimus prime locations i'll be surprised if i don't catch free fish tonight um stav is gonna be doing his in a minute and he's actually gonna be taking the boat out and i mean the rowing boat so that will be comical um yeah lovely so we are here with mr pula <laughs> who had a very nice 20, I'm gonna, I think it's bigger than 27 pound, whatever it was, but it's a 30 in my book, Nigel. Don't, don't lie. <laughs> You're, them, scale, them scales and rags. Oi, if Dax Miller was weighing that fish, that'd have been 40, mate. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> Nigel, so what, what bait were you using, rigs, etc.? Talk to me. Well, basically, we're using these bad boys. Yeah, long hair. Uh, long hair, double. Well, I'm using a bottom bait and a wafter on one. All flawless, which is a fruity flavour. Yeah. And we're using this bad boy mix. Yeah, is that, I've showed them the PVA mix, uh, yeah, particle yeah. mix. I've, I've used my bucket. You used it all? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the particle mix, me, Badger, and uh, Nigel sharing that I prepared. Lovely. Got, on one of them, I've got <laughs> Banoffee Snowman. Yeah. Tips with a white pop up. Yeah. That's on us. Mm, the right hand side. Got flawless on both of the other ones. Double one for the single. Yeah. Very more like a fruity kind of flavour, more pineapple than anything. That's on a spike, it's not on anything else, it's just a spike with two rubbers on the hook. Yeah. But it really is all using. I've noticed you've, uh, you're using uh, some of these pellets. pellets from Aldi. Ah. <laughs> these are the ones that uh, the French guy gave us. Yeah. Alright Nigel, nice and easy. Yep, simple, but effective. Right, so we are here Hi. at Mayor Lake and we've been visited. By Daniel. Daniel, oui. Ça va, Daniel? Ça va. Merci beaucoup. Daniel, he's the guy who will meet you at the venue and see you around the place, let you know what's what and what's where. Nick Smith, he, he owns the lake. He lives in London, so he's basically running a business through, through London. But Daniel will meet you here. Nice guy. Daniel? Daniel. Anything to say? Gérer, gérer uh, tout, moi, gérer. As you can see, his English is less, voilà. less than tiny. But you sort of get along with what he's saying, and he's a nice guy, Daniel. You're a good man. Yes? Merci. So Merci beaucoup. Very nice Thank guy. You and he like, and, and he drives a very nice truck as well, as yes. you can see. Were you not uh, ex-policeman? 
It's pretty smart. Yeah, you see we know. Come on. Yeah. It was uh, ex-police <laughs> ex, ex of, the, of the town as well. So, is it from Soissons? Soissons, Soissons. Soissons, uh, Paris. Yeah. Paris. Paris. And then, Paris. And then, or, were you police in Paris or in Soissons? Paris et commandant de Soissons. All right, so oh. he's a, he was a policeman in Paris right. and then he moved to Soissons. He's no longer police, so it's okay, anyone. If you want to do what you want to do, it's fine. Voilà. But you're okay, yeah? Daniel. Daniel. Très bien. Très bien? Très bien. <laughs> Au revoir. Yes. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. Yeah. Okay. Go on, big ass. Adam's had a screaming run. He just got it, but it is in the snags, yeah. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, he's out. What does it feel like, Ads? It felt big over there, hasn't it? A good 20. Oh, actually. <laughs> Slowly coming. It's this step. Quite far in. Yeah, it's still quite far out. The thing is, we're casting right in that corner there. That's what the fish took. So from there to the bank, it's a good 80, 80 90 yards, I would have thought. Long way to bring him back, especially if he's a big boy. Was going to not when I'm videoing, I'm not, no. <laughs> well, the fish is like 30 yards away, so... There's Mr. Pooler. I knew we brought him here for something. He's not going. Oh, he's the best following. Yeah, it's 
There she blows. So we were just talking with Daniel about fish sizes and stuff is in. Does it feel alright? Yeah. About 24. Daniel? Play? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> Oh, the ground! You bring me good luck! <laughs> ah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Come back to back to back. Well, Badger, it's been a bit quiet today, isn't it, Badge? Until I actually just said that sentence. Yeah. Nice, nice mirror again, isn't it? Hmm. 
Mon ami, Daniel. Tout va bien? <laughs> <laughs> Et voilà. Là voilà. Voilà, monsieur. Voilà. <rire> Là voilà. Nice. This is definitely a cup. Yeah. Got Nigel there. But is it playing it lovely. Did you have did, did you have time to put your hat on, Nigel? Was it already on? <laughs> Look at this punk. I've never seen such white legs. <laughs> yeah, put them on your legs. You'll soon see white. Look, yeah. no way. Your fatty crease isn't white, it's brown with all the action you've had, so it's fine. Let's have a little look. Oh. Definitely a it's carp. A it's a good fish. Definitely a carp. A little fighter, isn't it? It's a, yeah, it's a carp. It's a good, it's a big boy. <laughs> you he always Nigel, isn't it? I hate him. It's a good fish, Nigel. <laughs> you want to put, put a bit of commentary on this, Nigel? Nervous fruit can't, jelly. Can't Nervous fruit jelly speaks to mind. That's a. Come on, badge. It's nowhere near the net. That is a big boy, Nigel. <laughs> that is a big boy mirror. Uh, hang on, that's a step there. Over here now. <laughs> that is a yes, Nigel. <laughs> I don't know about this lake. It's only, it's only full of small fish. The punk. Come out of here, what? We have to gather it, badge. It's very hard to get out there. How to undo a net for beginners. Oh, stop. Sorry, mate. You got it? He's got the sling, Nigel. I don't want to lift this out of the net. Oh, it's a 20. Yeah. That's not as big as I thought, but it's a good start. It means. That on the feed. Angry. <coughs> <laughs> That's nice. You got it? Oh my god. You know you're still you still attached. Yeah, you got the line there. Sorry about this, uh, a lot of adrenaline pumping right now. Oh, that's Steve, oh. Steve Winwood. Yeah, <laughs> Put it down to adrenaline. That's, that's a big boy. <laughs> First carp of the, uh, the holiday, lads. Mm. Does it give you a bit of hope? That's a big now. boy. Look at the size of that tail. I'm surprised yeah. if that's a 30. That's a 30, no. mate. Oh, oh that. Jim. Nigel. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Nigel. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck <laughs> What's with all the water? <laughs> you've, been, you've been having a sponge bath in there, Nigel. Drop it down, Nigel. Drop it down. Right. You've tangled all your net up. Well, I needed a change of clothing anyway. <laughs> Nigel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's a 30, boy. You're going to have to weigh the sling after. I 
I say the the net weighs is five pound. With all that water, <laughs> eight. Yeah, with all the water. Eight. Got it. Yeah. Do I help with that? My drums don't come out of their sockets. That's gonna be it's gonna be a high twenty, right? Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. That's. Hang on, hang on. We're far off now, so. Right. So that's run about twenty nine. I reckon the net, I reckon that's probably around about 27. The net's got to be two pounds. That's bang on 29. What do you reckon, 27? Well, wait till he lets it go and then we'll have to weigh the net. You want it, Nigel? I might, yeah, now. Very nice fish. I think it is a tent, yeah. It's alright. Oh, it's not going down like that. That ain't a car. No, it's a grass cart. It is a car. It's a grassy. It's a grass cart, boy. I'm on it for a oh, grass cart. Took me off if I wouldn't have undone that clutch. Where'd you catch that from, Badge? Uh, that spot where the silver birch is. I'm on it for a nice grass carp. Hey, <laughs> it's what? Come in, it's coming. It's not ready yet. It's in the net. There they are. It's not the freshest man. There they are, proper fights. Come on, they are. You need to hurry up, man. I've got no lotion on my head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a lot of lotion for that, isn't it? It swam towards me. A bit lively now, isn't it? It's a fighter, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate. Stav, can you uh, put that cap on my head? Whose cap is it? Badge. Sure, just just place it on top of the uh, crown. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's a nice double that. Yes. Nice badge. Is that your first ever grassy? First ever grassy, yeah, man. Lovely. They are long, long, they're, they're long and lean. Yeah, like torpedoes, ain't they? He caught his first ever tench, his first ever bream yesterday. Ooh. You? No. <laughs> now his first ever grass carp. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope you degenerates have emptied out the water. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, here we are again with big ads. Into another biggie. And staff. Uh, sorry, and Stav on the net there, net man, love, jolly good. Adam reckons this could be a potential PB. Nervous fruit jelly springs to mind. The uh, fish is right under the rod tip, yet to make an appearance on the surface, so we uh, we haven't really got a clue at the minute as to the size or species. All we know it is a carp. <laughs> Unless it's the big cat that the guy's been talking about that's in here. So he's been playing it for about five or ten minutes now. Literally, it's literally right underneath the rod tip. But he's, uh, he's it looks like he's scouting around, yeah. scouting across the surface. Uh, sorry, the bottom. So uh, back to the angler.
Still no sign of the fish on the on the surface yet though. It's uh, taking Adam on a bit of a merry dance at the moment. But he's playing it cool. He's not rushing. I'm not cool. <laughs> he's, not, he's not rushing it. It's had an all sorts. Sam. Nige! I've got to go. No, he's there, he's there. Ain't Where? you, ain't you. Nige's messing around with it. <laughs> Jesus. Nige, you didn't fat. He you just said he not, had to go to the toilet. You do not go in the mix. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was only going to go because he said he was going to the toilet and thought he was still in there. It was just a ploy to get out of filming, I think. So we're getting nearer the surface now. You can see the back lead, which is, means it's at the top of the leader. Here it comes. Stav's trying to anticipate the fish's movements, get that net in, jab it in the head. Yeah. It's a 40, I'm knocking it off. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam's following it. I don't know why I'm showing you the lake because uh, there's nothing to see it there in a the minute. So I'll get back onto the anglers. Angler. Nice, give me a pull on that. <laughs> Eaten by no, the mozzies. The mosquito problem here is awful. Oh, come on, you fucking fighter. Yeah, we'll try and keep the language to a minimum, but uh, the adrenaline's going, you know, you know what it's like. There it is, literally a foot from the bank there. It's a, it's a mirror. What's that point? It's a mirror, I know that. This is a fighter. Wish my brother was here. Yeah, get me bang on it. <laughs> there we go. We've got the fish on the surface there for the first time. Should be soon ready to come in. You've got to take your time with these big fish. Can't bully them too much. It's uh, turning into something of an epic battle here between man and beast. Fish and beast, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking shaking, man. This is probably going to be like 20 pounds and I look like a dick. It is, it is, it is mid 20, like we've been beginning. I think, anyway, from what I've seen. Fish has decided it's having other ideas now. He's, he's going back towards the open Mate. water. Still can't see anything on the surface, so I'll keep the filming onto the angler. And the net man, of course. As, uh, Nigel's here, he's made an appearance. Come and have a look. Good old boy. Got to see what the old boy's catching. There we go, we've got some fish on the surface there, let's have. Here he comes, I think he's ready now. And it's in the net there, well done Stav. Nice scoop in there Stav. Lovely. That's Adam, alright? Relieved? Smoke me a kipper, I'll be back <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like we've got some action forming. Big ads on the boat there for Stav. 
come around. Stab's only just dropped this bait in the water literally five, ten minutes ago. And it screamed away. What do you reckon, Stab? Hmm? What do you reckon? Tench. I mean, there's a... I reckon, I reckon you had a, it was a nice like, screaming run, weren't it? I so. reckon it's a grassy. The way, the way it's fighting, I reckon it's a grassy. Well, he's, uh, he's taking you on a bit of a merry dance at the moment. If there's any, any help or advice that you need while you're playing it, just call on one of us. Advice? I'm sure we can assist. If I lose it, and I know that your advice worked. <laughs> Good answer. Can't, can't really argue I'm with that. Look, I'm over it, I've got control. Did it come off? Yeah. I'm in total control, Adam. <laughs> okay, so we uh, fish is now right right down in front of Stav, about ten meters out. It's swimming, it's swimming here quite quickly, actually. As uh, it's a bit of a pattern with these fish that we've been catching, they like to mess you about right in your own margin. Yeah. This one's heading for the willow. Nice bend in that, in that rod there, Stavs. And these new century rods. Uh, oh, here comes Big Ads with the net right on cue. It's a mirror. Is it a mirror, yeah? Yes, yeah, good mirror, it's a nice mirror. Here comes the net man. That swam fast for a mirror. It's a nice fish. Let's uh, get round to this angle so I can get both both anglers in the picture. We've got the fish on the surface there. That is a nice looking fish. Expertly bagged up by Adam. Well done. Yeah. Well done, staff. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Oh my jalopy. Is that a big boy? Let's have a look. Let's get a bit of filming in the net. You try lift that up, mate. You There's lift that up. There. Oh, That's a stunner. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. Uh, we'll have to edit that bit of swearing at the end there. Can you get the cradle? So after waiting a few days for that, for that elusive what did I tell you? Bite. Perseverance, mate. Never give up. Nigel Never give is up. in. And it bad. Told him it'll happen today, Adam. Told him. What did I say? And it'll be a big boy. It's just down here. We just lost one of my rods. No, you don't need to touch that close. They're only even bending your rod, mate. I did notice Nigel went straight for the hat before he went for his rod. <laughs> did it feel alright, Nigel? It's a little grassy. The grass cut? I think so, yeah. It looks like a nice little one. Mm. This is an epic contest between Fish and Nigel. Fish is winning at the minute. Yeah. My cup of tea is going to be freezing by the end you've brought this in, Nigel. It's already the second one he's made me because I dropped the first one. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, Mr. Nige. Badger. Shush, Adam. Third time lucky. 
<laughs> Lovely Nigel. <laughs> Nigel to the rescue. Well done, Nigel. You've right in that fucking arc. Yeah, go on. You got it? Sorry, yeah, go on. Okay. What the fuck happened there? I thought it was Nigel's. Good, good bend in that badge. It's coming this way now. It's going up with yours. It's going up with yours. How's it feel, badge? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say, bruv? First 40, mate. No, I don't think it's that good. Tension, man. Go on, Nigel, get your breath back, boy. You shifted down there. Which one was the middle one, Nigel? Yeah. Is that the one you, did, bloody, you just cast out? I receiver set on local, not Wait, distance. When I grabbed that back, that thing was running low. I heard it, it was major. Well, it must have done because it's got right over to that cove, Nigel. It was nowhere near there, really. I'm gonna get <laughs> it down here, Nigel. Believe me, I didn't start to get it. What's, what's the Just had a fat munch cooked by Stephen Payne. Yeah, that's come up, I think. I'm going to make it down there. <laughs> 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 Got some Adam's apple. So Badger is now indulging in some carp dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's a common, you know. <laughs> I think it's a common. Look very, very white. That's no, a mirror. Ready with her net, Nige? Mate. That's got that's a nice size, it's got some fat shoulders. Yes, Nige! At last. It's a big boy. <laughs> At last. Oh. Cheers, Nige. Come on, Nige. I need the other one, don't I? <laughs> Hang on, I'll stay there, I'll get the sling. Unless you want to lift it with this, it's probably going to break. Right? Come out, oh, done it. We did say good things come to those who wait. I've got it now, yeah, just carry it over. Hey, I've got it now, carry it over. Yes. How'd you feel, Badge? Got, got good, on. Because it looks a nice fish. That right? is a nice fish, bruv. Oh, thank God. Right, I shall be back with the weights. Right, so we've uh, come to the end of our fishing adventure. We've, we've had a very good session. We've had 46 carp between the four of us. Had probably 50 odd nuisance fish, or as Stav would call them, specimens. Um, the ones I been... caught were specimens. <laughs> It's been, um, yeah, been very good. I'm tired now. I want to go home in my bed. 
So, what have you boys got to say? Who wants to go first? <laughs> Legend. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been an experience, yeah. It's a nice fish, great company. Yeah, I'd do it again. We won't have you back there. Badger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll reiterate that. It's been a good week. Um, some good fishing. A bit slower up towards our end, but we've had some really nice looking fish up there so i'm not disappointed at all um really enjoyed it and we have daniel eh bien je suis très content de vous avoir connu vous êtes des gens sympa charmant et malheureusement il y en a qui sont incorrects mais vous ok très bon if you go on google translate it will uh, <laughs> understand what he's saying <laughs> stab what are you saying Yes, I've had a great week. I think the f most of the fish have been over our side of the lake, but uh, everyone has caught. Most of the fish are in the in the twenty pound bracket, low to high twenties. Uh, it was for a first trip to France. Anyone, I would recommend this place. Uh, the yeah, the, enjoyed, the details it? are on uh, on the internet. The guys uh, Nick Smith. Sometimes be a little bit hard to get hold of, but he will always get back to you at some stage. So uh, contact him. Definitely worth coming here. If you're after a big 50, 60, 70 like some of the French lakes have, I wouldn't recommend to come here because I think the biggest here is sort of low to mid 40s. But there are a lot of 20s, and you will catch 20s. That's virtually guaranteed. I would have thought because we've all had 20s. And. Uh, yeah, just try different flavours, different areas of the lake. Most of ours have been caught in the marginal areas. <laughs> so, uh, if you can cast to the far bank or on the sides. We didn't have anything in our near margin, did we? I did try no. this several times. We, we didn't really, later. yeah, we didn't really have on anything on the left-hand side margin as someone neglected to really fish, fish it. Much on the left margin, no. but, um, Isn't that right, Nigel? Tried it a few times. It was, it was, uh, green, so. I would definitely recommend here for a first visit or if you want to get a few few fish. It's a good family uh, venue, Daniel, isn't it? Daniel will be here to meet you. I think we mentioned that before. Um, Google Translate, he has difficulties sometimes speaking English, but Google Translate, you can understand everything he's saying and he can understand you. So there is really shouldn't be an issue with understanding each other. So He even calls you baby now and again. Yes, Babi, you call me Babi, yes? <laughs> yes I know. You see, he enjoys it. And the facilities are great as well. You've got, you know, lodges here, electric points, fridges, so you've got freezers. For Even Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, and, and the Wi-Fi for, you know, connect to different things. So, yeah, definitely recommend it. Uh, just as long as you're not expecting a really big boy, as in 50, 60, 70, 70 pounds, but yeah. I'd recommend to anyone. Yeah, I mean we had uh, we had four fish over thirty pound, highest being thirty seven, so I wouldn't expect you lot to catch that high as we are professionals. <laughs> but um some of us are <laughs> but yeah it's been good. Uh it didn't take two of them to catch a thirty seven. Yes, it was on it was on my rod, but I will let Nigel claim it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, this is uh the Bedford Big Boy Specimen Hunters from Maya Lake in France. See you later. Au revoir. Au revoir. Uh, au revoir. Bon mm. nuit. Nigel. Au revoir. Oh, au revoir. Mm. You have to ruin it, don't you? <laughs>